All right, hi guys. This is, this is Colin Center. I'm uh, going to give you a quick tour of Relink Bitmaps version 2.0. Um, if you just come to my website, colincenter.com, click on the scripts link and click on Relink Bitmaps version 2.0. Uh, we can just download it real quick and we'll just save it straight to the desktop. Okay. Let's open up Max. Uh, please note I'm using Max 2010, but this is well tested with 2009, 2008, and 9 Service Pack 1. Uh, if you are using Max 9, please uh, make sure you install the Service Pack 1 update from Autodesk's website. To install uh, Relink Bitmaps, just go to Max Script, Run Script, and we'll just point it straight at the desktop file. You'll see it'll come up and say Relink Bitmaps is now installed. It'll also tell you uh, where you can drag it to a toolbar because uh, macro scripts sometimes hide a lot. Um, we're going to pull it to a toolbar, so we'll go to Customize, Customize User Interface, Toolbars, Category is Colin Scripts, and we'll just drag it over here. Also, I'm going to save my UI as Max Start UI so that it'll automatically come up each time. All right, let's uh, let's open the scene I have prepared. All right, we can see that uh, this scene has some missing bit. Doesn't really render very well. Shoot, let's push the wrong key press. So you can see it's kind of rendering like uh, it doesn't have any bitmaps. So, so let's launch Relink Bitmaps. All right, now that we got it up, I want to go over real quick just this donate thing. Um, I just want to say that uh, if you can see the time and value that uh, the script saves, uh, any kind of donation you guys can give would help immensely. It'll all go to my student loan debt. Uh, I'm suggesting $4.99 for an individual. If you can spare more, please do. If you can't, uh, it's no problem. I want to release this to everybody for free um, because I know it saved my neck time and time again. All right, let's go over the main interface real quick. Uh, this is the main uh, Relink Bitmaps interface. Here we've got saved quick paths. Um, so let's add a quick path. These are these are paths that you might use a lot um, for relinking. For instance, I've got a vault here that I almost always relink to, so I might add that. But for now, let's just add. Whoops. Hey. Scripts. Relink bitmaps. Assets. I'm just going to add this maps folder, and maybe I'll add one more too. Colin scripts relink. I happen to have all of the missing maps in these two folders for this scene. Uh, and I can show you that real quick. Here's the folders that I just added. I added uh, this one and this one. And if we go into maps, you can see that buried in some of the directories are all of the maps that will that are currently missing. And so here's also some V-Ray meshes that I have that are missing. All right, so now. Uh, let's go over real quick what it relinks. It relinks all um, bitmap texture types. It relinks um, mental ray proxies, V-Ray proxies, V-Ray HDRI files, IES files, V-Ray IES files, and certainly more to come um, based on your guys' input. Um, all right, so now uh, if you don't want to use a quick path, something you've saved, you can also just click browse and click uh, just a quick path that you might want to use, but we don't, we don't need to do that right now. Here are some of the options that it has. It has search subfolders, which is a recursive uh, subdirectory searching, an ignore case function in case uh, some of these ever get um, changed case. It also has this low memory and huge scene thing. If you click it, it'll tell you what low memory support is. It's for users that were having uh, really big scenes that have a very difficult time. Uh, Max needs to release uh, all the bitmaps from memory, so if you've got low memory, you might consider using that, though I've never had to use it at all. Uh, you can also configure these. These are your this, this is what uh, the script will always start with, so if you find yourself using uh, ignore case a lot and low memory a lot, you can then just click it and hit save, and it'll always start with these uh, options. Real quick in the missing bitmaps pane right here, um, we can see what each of the maps is if we click it. Um, not only will it do that, but if you look, it'll also select it in the scene for whatever we've done. So this Bricks 02 texture seems to be assigned to that box right here. Um, for instance, this is assigned to a missing V-Ray mesh. Here is that actual V-Ray mesh, so if we click it, you can see it'll highlight that and select it in the scene. Um, nothing's going to be selected because this is assigned to a dome light, a V-Ray dome light. So, whoops, I just clicked to go to my website. Sorry about that. 
Anyway, um, another way of doing this real quick is, let's say I want to get all these brick textures, I can just type brick and hit find. It'll say it found three materials based on brick. Let me drag this over. Then it opens up the material letter and shows you exactly what materials and maps are associated with any brick um, texture. All right, so now let's really quickly, I'm just going to select both of these and hit relink. And our whole scene's done. It's all relinked. Super fast, super easy. You can see even the V-Ray proxies, the IES files, it's got a, a shadow map of an opacity uh, uh, projector map in this, uh, there's a spotlight up here. And so it even relinked that, and you can tell it's going to render fine. It's going to be great. Um, anyway, if you guys see the um, the time and, and everything that this saves, um, please think about donating if you can manage. Um, you can donate via my PayPal at my um, my email address, c-s-e-n-n-e-20 at student.scad.edu. Hope you guys have fun. Hope it saves you a lot of time. Have a great day. Bye.